Hello, today we're looking at this topic of cell division and included in the cell cycle is something called mitosis which uh, helps the cell to divide into two new cells and when we have cell division as we said we've got two new cells and it's quite important that the cells are able to divide and make new cells uh, mainly because we need to be able to repair any damaged tissue if you've hurt yourself or scratched yourself something like that and also to replace uh, lost cells as well so for example your skin is losing many millions of cells constantly and they need replacing it's also very important for growth so you can imagine that when you were a little baby compared to how you are now you've got many many millions of more cells than you had when you were much younger so it's important for producing new cells for growth as well now if we look very roughly at how the cell cycle works we've got the cell that starts off the cycle which would be, we would call the parent cell and then that parent cell goes through a phase where the nucleus divides and the actual cytoplasm uh, divides as well and we end up with two new cells and those two cells at the end of the process are called daughter cells or at the back end of that cycle it's not just one single process it's a cycle that continues to happen all the time uh, it also happens in plant cells as well so the process is very similar you can see in the diagram below um, just for a few minor differences but we end up we start off with parent cells and we end up with daughter cells in plants as well now we can split this whole cell division into three stages the first stage is very important because we get an increase in the number of what we call subcellular structures you may have heard these called organelles which is fine to use but we get an increase in the subcellular structures so that every new cell has enough of those to be able to work. Examples of subcellular structures are ribosomes which make proteins you may remember so they're very important and mitochondria which release energy from aerobic respiration. So we get an increase in those for the new cells but very very importantly we also get the DNA which copies itself. It's very important that each new cell has a full and accurate copy of the DNA so that it can function properly. So that's stage one. Stage two is the part that we really uh, talk is where we really talk about mitosis, and you can see the nucleus dividing there during that process. There it is dividing into two new nuclei, and we're going to talk about that in a bit more detail in a moment. So that's our stage two. Our stage three is actually where the cytoplasm splits, the cell membrane split into two, the nucleus have, nuclei have finished splitting into two, and then we end up with our two new daughter cells, each with a full set, a full copy of the DNA compared to the parent cell. So let's have a look in slightly more detail at what's going on in the nucleus. Okay, so I've done a large and exaggerated version of the nucleus in these two diagrams here. And I can label those there, nucleus. And as you can see here in the first cell, we've got a set of chromosomes. And we said that in this stage here, the DNA copies itself. Okay, so the DNA has copied itself, and you can see in the second diagram that the, these structures, the chromosomes, you can see they have copied themselves and they are sitting in pairs, as opposed to single strands in the first picture. In humans, we have 46 chromosomes. Other living things have different numbers. So the DNA copies itself. The chromosomes there in the second diagram, you can see, are exist in pairs, copied pairs. And then when we finish the process, we end up with two daughter cells and they each have the exact same number of chromosomes and again in humans there's 46 I've only drawn four in these diagrams because it would be very confusing if I was to draw out all 46 but we've got 46 in each new cell and that's remember just for humans but what actually happens in between well we've got the stages of mitosis in between and the stages that you need to know about are in the diagram there and that's basically the chromosomes lying, lining up along the center of the nucleus. Sometimes we call that the equator of the nucleus. But the chromosomes line up along the center just before splitting. And then in the diagram there, you can see that the chromosomes are moving to opposite sides of the nucleus. They're actually literally pulled apart by strands of protein. But the chromosomes are pulled apart and that makes two new copies or two new nuclei, each one each for the new cells. Okay, so um, this is an overview of, my, of mitosis as part of the cell cycle. We've got three stages. 
which we've described and it's quite important that you are able to describe the stages as shown there. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.